Just across the board. Yep. I feel like that might have been a good idea to actually try fighter, like, just uh, in the, um... Like, because either of those would have been, like, an acceptable result. Right. right? Oh, good timing on the Shine Rainbow catching Kiso and dropping shields. Bit of a mistake on the roll from Keystone there, but doing an okay job keeping Justin out so far. Spike's definitely a move that's tough for Water to challenge. Uh, RTC goes through it. That's a bad apple there. That's that's a problem for Keystone. He's going to have to get, get rid of that as soon as possible. Yep. Ooh, doesn't get punished for it. Now, do you know detonation animation has, like, FAF? I mean, it's not instant. It's it has it has some lag. It's not as much as you might hope, but it definitely has lag. It's not like it's frame one and you can act right away. Okay. Funny enough, water does have a move that is frame one FAF two, uh, the dash turnaround. Not only does it hit and on the first frame of your turnaround, you literally cannot. Uh, there's literally no lag on it whatsoever. There is no point in time where you can't immediately do something else. Oh, just do the apple. Yeah, he's been a big punish there with the shield break. I think he, you're unable to buddy toss um, at like the first. From that close range, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. have to be about like ha at least like probably more than half of the grab distance, of the throw distance away to get it. See, I feel like Justin could have tried to hit Keystone a little more there because a lot of mag players, especially the non like top mag players, don't use the detonation on the apple when it's small. It's also just less of a risk across the board. Like, getting hit by a small apple is less of a risk than getting hit by one that will kill you. Correct. Justin had a rough that time a here, though. Name. One more hit, we'll do it. And that is it. Shields the shine, goes with the shadow ball. So, Kiso takes game one. Justin. Off to a good start. He got hit with a few apples, and, you know, that's kind of how Mag wins. You, you, got, you gotta... You yep, sure gotta you avoid those apples. Hit. Yeah. I, I also feel like Justin Jim didn't take as much advantage of the stage as he could have there. Um, yeah. He definitely didn't. Like, we saw the one time uh, Keystone got the apple. Well, actually, twice Keystone got the apple stuck on the platform up top. Whenever that happens, that is your cue to run forwards. No exceptions. Like, there's not like, oh, but you have to be careful of. No. Go in. Do something. <laughs> Read a teleport, maybe. Like. Get a 50-50, or at least put him in a 50-50 situation at some point. Justin still played very patient and very slow with the apple on the platform, and that's the number one thing that I think cost him that game, was that's your big chance to get in and get like a lot of damage on Mag instead of just like some chip damage and then have to respect the apple. Because Mag doesn't have the option to teleport to the apple for safety. And here's the archer, that makes more sense. What stage are we going to see, though? Uh, ooh, left jam bastion open. Okay. I wonder if that's Arch forgetting that um, Justin plays Archer. Because, like, this you should not leave open against an Archer player. Right. Oh, and this also used to be Arch. I forgot about that. Okay, that's just his name. <laughs> like, that's his, like, real life... His name is name. Archer, yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of that. There's a show about a guy named Archer. Right, but I didn't think that was, like, a real thing that can happen. Yeah, that's a real, that's a real thing. All right, so Justin is going to be playing his patented Grounded Archer, which still works surprisingly well as an anti-mag uh, unit. <laughs> like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but he does it very well, so it's fine. That's another questionable apple placement from Keystone that he's going to have to fix. And yeah, nice, Justin dominating this one, catches the teleport. Will get clipped by the spikes, but not going to get comboed. Good DI getting up and out of that one. Kind of would have liked to see in a black hole there, just to make Justin start moving. Ooh, That's that was a dash attack going the that. wrong way from Justin. Cost him a little bit there. Ultra Sword comes out. Honestly, didn't disagree with it. It was like, if yeah, Justin not a bad idea. in the vicinity... That's one of those things that like you can't always tell what's going on, especially in the corner. You can't always tell what's going on right away. It's kind of like, whoa, what's here? What's this? Yeah. 
Ooh, Justin, just, in, just not charging that one up enough. Yep, good catch on the teleport, and that will do it. Justin takes game two. Justin reacts to the teleport every single time. Yeah. I mean, I guess you have to. You can't. You can't be giving Mag free teleports, especially like close to you. One of the things Archer struggles with in this matchup is Mag teleporting directly on top of him, because um, arrows do not hit your body. Like they start a little bit away from it, and that's something Ninja takes advantage of incredibly well. Is he will warp like on top of your body, and Archer has to make a decision on what to do, and there's not really an answer to it. You have to have already been charging an up arrow to get the splash hit or something. Ooh, okay, so wow. this is interesting. So Keystone picks Springy. And that means Justin's going to go back to the water, because water can totally fight Mag on this stage. Um, this is the one stage where this matchup is perfectly acceptable for water, because you don't really have a safe distance to teleport to. No matter where you teleport, you're always in range of water. Right. Justin mashing the B button. All right, so game three going to Springy. And I wonder if maybe this is a pick from Keystone to bait out the water. Because um, I think if we go to another big stage, Justin probably stays with the Archer. And then maybe we Wait, see Keystone's yeah. fighter. Maybe we see another character of some sort. He's got a lot of characters. Um, but he's certainly been playing Magalore the most by quite a bit. That was definitely an accidental uh, Ultra Sword there. Yeah, that was that was not what he was going for. But you can see what I was talking about already, with how just there's nowhere safe for Magalore on this stage. Oh if yeah, you are, the water's so fast. If you teleport away, like you're never more than like one dash attack length away from water. Justin taking advantage of that very very well. Ooh, gets the back hit. Avoids the black hole, ad adapts his combo there, because the dash attack would have been the normal thing to go for, but it would have put him in the black hole, so... Good recognition from Justin. Ooh, going for a shine grab. I'm glad he's finally doing that, but that one didn't quite work out. Oh, good dash Keystone turn again. To go for an apple combo. Keystone sitting on 15 health. Now 13. <laughs> Just slowly getting chipped out. Good shine, doesn't get the rainbow out. Shine Rainbow is true on Mag. A lot of water's combos can be teleported out of um, after a while, if you get or if you don't get the right hitbox or something. Shine Rainbow is true. That's why that's the combo you'll see Justin go for against like Bell or Magalore, like people who would normally have defensive options to escape. That's the one that's just guaranteed no matter what. He's so this is actually this is much better zoning than we saw before. Putting that apple right in the middle is, mm -hmm. is probably where it sh should be. Yeah, definitely way better apple placement this game from Keystone. Uh, on a stage where it's a lot harder. Ooh, Shadow Ball's the wrong way. Justin doesn't punish in time, though. Justin could be going for Ooh, a Ooh, really here. good, yep. Oh, and that's an ill-advised dash attack. That's, that's probably Keystone trying to read Justin dash attacking from the platform, because that's something Mag has trouble dealing with on the stage like this, where he doesn't have room to, like, space his own dash attack or, like, throw an apple at it every time, something like that. Yeah. Um, so probably I, yeah. a preemptive thing to punish that, and Justin just calls it out and floats high with the jump 2B. So now, um, going back to Archer, he's still going Wrestler. I have no idea where that came from, but this is going to be really scary for Justin. Um, important to note, Justin does now have counter pick advantage. Could be very important if this is the kind of matchup we'll see. Not sure if there's enough platform here for uh, Archer to be getting away. There's here. literally never enough platforms for Archer to get away from Wrestler. <laughs> Just right, absolutely yeah. never. <laughs> it, it can't happen. Jam Bastion yeah. is as close as you can get, and it's like still not good. Although this isn't this is not a Wrestler main here, but it isn't. We'll but it's also not an Archer main. That is true. And as long as he knows about the existence of up grab and like the shield button, those are kind of the only things you need. Not going for the up grab though. I think in this matchup, even Justin will be aware that he does in fact have to leave the ground sometimes. That was the best uh, jumping six six B that I've ever seen Justin do. Yeah. Oh, he should have really charged that yet. one like that. Yeah. So that was one of the few moves that Archer has that's super useful in this matchup. 
Um, was he a sky shot shower? Mr. That's officially called. Not being patient enough here. He's he's also just not doing the right moves. He's drop kicking over and over again. That's not what you want to be doing. You gotta run up and shield, and then once you're within grab range, then Archer has to be in panic mode and has to be afraid of you. Keystone didn't do anything to make Justin afraid. Justin had every like had full reign to just like press all the buttons he wanted to press, use two B and five B like spaced and timed certainly at certain times to keep him out on the ground, jump when he got close, and Keystone never up grabbed, well, not a single time. Up grab is the thing that makes that matchup really hard. Cause you work your way in on the ground, Archer has to go to the air, and then you have the up grab to pressure him. And Keystone just not not using it a single time. I do not like the Keystone is staying wrestler here. I'm guessing it's springy. Yeah, it's gonna be springy, but I, I don't like this anyway. I think his wrestler yeah, no, is a clear step below his other characters that we've seen so far. Ye Justin is bad against grapplers, but you need to know. You need, but he's you not that bad. He, like, that's like he struggles against people who are very good at good grappler at good grapplers. That's not that you can yeah. just like pick one up and beat him. And we've yet to see that Keystone is not simply doing that. Yeah, I uh, I don't have a lot of faith in the wrestler yet. We'll see if he can prove me wrong here. He's got a good stage to do it on. This that is a matchup where drop kick's kick. a little better than it is against Archer, because drop kick is not the move you want to be using mostly against Archer. The Archer matchup, you really yeah. just want to run up and shield and look for a chance to grab. Like, what's Archer going to do to stop you forever? <laughs> and then, what defensive options does Archer has once they get grabbed once? That's another problem. See, like, that's the same thing you want to be doing against water, but Keystone's still not doing it. Oh, he gets one up grab there. It's like the first time he's used up grab. Also, should mention, obviously this is a great wrestler stage. If you're going to play wrestler, this is the stage you want to do it on. Water is also insane here. Like, this is not a counterpick to the level that it is in most matchups. Water yeah, gets so much crazy stuff off that stage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Keystone was playing that as if wrestler was, like, the one who's supposed to be controlling that game. Yeah, Wrestler's it's really not. Just someone who, you just want to shield a lot. That's, that's really what you want to do. Shield yeah, you got to shield a lot. You got to pick your spots to up grab, forward grab. Um, you don't really want to drop kick much at all. It's just, it's not that good. It beats out dash attack, and that's about all it does. All right, so back to a big stage, apparently, because Justin pulling the archer back out. Keystone beam. Okay, so Keystone's beam is 0-2 against my parasol. So I have low expectations of this. Especially in a yeah, matchup no, that's honestly not that bad. Like, this matchup, Parasol? not that bad. And it's also a matchup where Archer is supposed to play the way Justin likes to play, sitting on the ground, camping below platforms, charging their arrows. Yeah, Justin can be Justin right here. <laughs> and wow, what... Please just grab me. Terrible killing streamer. That was, that was pretty <laughs> solid. That was better than usual. <laughs> All right, so game six, um, Keystone going with the beam. Oh, he's still at 60 health for me. You can go, I, I, I can't commentate the Discord streams. Oh, Discord not working? Let me see if something's wrong. Okay, see if it's back now. Uh, still, <laughs> do I need to stop watching for a sec? Uh, maybe, I don't know. There's not much okay. to say. Um, Keystone is pressing Pressing the move, but not doing it that much. It's the other moves that are hitting Justin more. Um, Justin hasn't had to think about beam very much because like water has eight B that's so giant, and like Archer has an eight B, but it's not it's not the same. We saw the beam command grab, and Justin wow. starting that's to pull away pressure. here. Yeah, when you get the jump dash attack and like cross up over them and then do it back the other way, it's very hard for most characters to do something about that. Keystone goes the wrong way. One more hit for Justin will do it. Good command grab. This is still very close. And the Hitman out of shield will take it. So Justin moving on 5-1, and he'll go into winner's finals.